I am John Bradley and I play Samuel Tarley. Samuel Tarley is the firstborn son of Randall Tarley. Randall Tarley is a great military tactician and a great warrior. He's somebody who always valued physical prowess and a military bearing. Samuel's never really subscribed to that worldview. He's always been very sensitive and very academic and very bookish. So he develops his plan to ship poor Samuel off to Castle Black. What in seven hours is that? It's either go to Castle Black or die at the hands of his father. He can't win. He doesn't have a choice. He has to be there. Samuel Tarley. I wasn't sure if you'd remember me. I remember everything. Bran and Sam, although some might say uh, Gilly and Bran, they discover that uh, John isn't a bastard after all. He's uh, the legitimate son of Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen, which means, of course, that he is a legitimate heir to the Iron Throne. John isn't really my father's son. He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt, Lyanna Stark. His last name isn't really Snow, it's Sam. He's not. Dornish bastards are named Sam. At the Citadel, I transcribed a High Septon's diary. He wed Rhaegar and Lyanna in a secret ceremony. A lot of people have kind of talked about the fact that Gilly found that piece of information and Sam's never really credited for it. Sam's always said it was me that discovered that and, and, and him and Bran have devised it between them. But, you know, Jorah Mormont gets back to Daenerys and doesn't tell her that Sam's the one who cured him of Grayscale. So I think that in, in the course of the universe, the right amount of credit is being dished out. It's just maybe being dished out to the, for the wrong deed. Hey everyone, it's Fen Tony. I'm finally getting round to the Samuel Tarly promo. Sam's always been one of my favourite characters on the show. In a world full of great warriors, fireproof queens, dragons and magic, Sam's just an average person. He's very bookish, very intelligent, overweight and a bit of a coward. But he's grown as a character so much, ever since joining the Night's Watch and meeting Jon Snow, and then Gilly, north of the wall. Jon Bradley describes Sam, Gilly, Little Sam and Jon as his second family. Remember, Sam had a very tough upbringing. He was highborn to a very famous family, but his father never loved him. Randall Tarly forced his elder son to take the black or he was going to kill him. He always wanted a son that was big and strong and a great warrior, not someone like Sam. Obviously now Randall Tarly and Dickon are dead. Daenerys had Drogon kill them and obviously Daenerys and Sam are going to be in the same place in season 8. Sam is currently at Winterfell and we know Daenerys will arrive in the first episode. I think Jon will introduce Sam as his best friend to Daenerys, and the moment she hears Tarly, she's going to remember what she'd done to Randall and Dickon. I think we need some sort of scene where Daenerys tells Sam that she killed his father and brother, but I feel that Sam doesn't know what to think about that. He was never close to them, but they were still his family. In a world of fathers that are awful, Randall Tarly could have been the worst. Sam is still a member of the Night's Watch though, and I've got a feeling Daenerys might free him of his oath, allow him to take up lordship of his house, or even just free him of his oath so he can be with Gilly. This promo doesn't actually have any hints for season 8, but we know Sam's going to be extremely important. Obviously together with Bran, they worked out Jon Snow's parentage, and I think they'll be the ones to tell him. But Jon Bradley does say that Gilly deserves credit as well. Remember, Gilly was the one that actually found the journal that said that Rhaegar annulled his marriage to Elia Martell. Remember, Prince Rhaegar. Obviously Gilly doesn't know who Rhaegar Targaryen or Lyanna Stark are, so Sam had to work it out. Bran did know about Jon's birth, he went back in time and saw this, but he assumed that Jon was still a bastard. But all three of them came together, with Bran's powers who saw the birth, Gilly found the journal and Sam put it all together. I do feel that Bran and Sam are going to work together and find a way to defeat the Night King. Remember Sam always wanted to be a wizard, and Bran is basically one. Sam's not got magic powers like Bran, but he has his mind, he's a progressive thinker, he's very knowledgeable and he's got books that he took from the Citadel. There might be something in these books that helps them defeat the Night King, maybe details on the first long night. Obviously the maesters are not going to be accurate, but there might be something in this book that allows Bran to go back and find the truth. Remember Bran told Sansa that he needs to see better once the long night comes. He has the potential to see everything, but he has restrictions. He has to know where and when he's going. He didn't know the full story of Jon Snow's birth. He didn't know about the marriage between Rhaegar and Lyanna until Sam told him. I think he'll need Sam's help once again to point him in the right direction. Sam's going to use his resourceful mind to figure something out that Bran just can't find out. And then Bran will go back in time and see the truth. Sam's going to be the wizard's assistant. 
He told John that he can't fight physically, he was going to fight his own way as a maester. Obviously the Citadel was not what he thought. The maesters are stuck in their old ways and refuse to believe anything different. They were even sceptical about the Armour of the Dead. Sam's not a maester, but he has the intelligence and the forward thinking and the books. He was even able to cure Jorah's grayscale with no prior experience. Something else worth noting is the fact that the dagger that Arya Stark has looks identical to the dagger that Sam saw in the book at the Citadel. I think Sam will recognise this dagger and there's going to be something about that dagger that's important. There's lots of theories about what it's going to do, whether it can kill the Night King or something else, but I think it'll be Sam that brings it up. He's going to recognise it from the book. But I don't think he's just going to be sitting around letting everyone else go into battle. Sam's not a fighter, but he has seen action in the past. He's actually one of the few characters that's killed a White Walker, and he fought in the Battle of Castle Black. John Bradley describes this battle as so important for Sam as a character, for us and him understanding Sam and his function within the show. He does survive on luck, and he can't really defend himself, but he's no longer really a coward. He'll do anything to protect the ones he loves. Remember, he actually took his family's ancestral Lurian Steel Sword, Heartsbane, and I think he has to use it against the White Walkers. There's also theories he might give it to someone else, someone who's got better use for it, as Flaring Steel is extremely rare and it can kill White Walkers, so someone else might have better use for it than Sam, but I think Sam will wield it at one point. A lot of people think that he might give it to Jorah. John Bradley did say the reason Sam tried to help Jorah was the fact that he felt he was in debt to Jorah's father, the Lord Commander Gior Mormon. He felt he kind of abandoned them at Craster's Keep and Sam wanted to repay this debt by helping out his son. I think Sam will be an unlikely hero, just like how Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings was. As for his overall fate, I think Sam does survive. I think he's one of them few characters that you can almost guarantee that's going to be safe. But a lot of people think that he's actually going to be the author of the series. Remember, Archmaester Abroz was writing a book called A Chronicle of the Wars Following the Death of King Robert I. A lot of people think Sam's going to write the book about all these wars that are happening on the TV show. Maybe a Song of Ice and Fire or a Game of Thrones. He's going to write this book and become an important figure in the new more progressive realm. A realm where kings and queens don't dominate over the realm and the maesters are not dinosaurs. But I want to hear what you think. What are your thoughts on Samuel Tarly in season 8? Will he reveal John's parentage? Will he become the author of the series? So that's these promo videos done. There were a lot of characters that didn't get their own promos and I could perhaps make some videos on them but these promo videos are finished but if you have any requests for season 8 videos just let me know. We're still waiting on that trailer. We have had a few teasers and promos recently. I think we will get some sort of other teaser before the big trailer drops but once that happens you want to come back so make sure you subscribe. Anyways remember to leave your thoughts in the comments below and then subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.